101 uh, beef short horns to be judged today. The largest section here of the show this year. Out of a total of 796 animals in the in the shed. Uh, so if that, if that on the year, but the sure as we will see today goes off. Quality Except this is the largest uh, section this year, the one in Shore. Here we are, the first animal coming forward to the judge. This is lot 2401. This is Dunzaya Giga. This is exhibited by Brenda Weir. These animals will just be presented before the judge give them an individual inspection. This is the most crucial point of the class for these exhibitors. I'm sure they're expected to be fighting some of these animals being the youngest heifers today. They're only approximately a year old. Just a reminder, these heifers are born on or after the 1st of April 22. Now we have our wait. next animal just waiting for inspection. This is exhibitor 2402. Approaching the judge now. This is exhibited by Andrew Thornbra. This is Black Blue Margot Sally. This is our second heifer in this class, followed for scrutiny and by the judge. There was 11 heifers in total in this class. A second half just laid enough. Trying in the end. There we see our third exhibit of the day. This is lot 2403. This is exhibited by G, H, and J. Wilson. This is Runley Mill, Roxbow, Last Super. Exhibitors. <laughs> Top on the ground there in front of the animals, make them pick their ears and look more presentable in front of the judge. This is our fourth animal. So, we have our fifth animal in this class. This is like 2405. This is exhibited by J. Whiteman and A. McAllister. This is Isla Hill Sparkle. So now judging in the Charolais ring is a female born on or between the 1st of January and the 31st of March last year. Brilliant to see such a large entry for these animals this year at the Highland Shore. 
I was over 700 uh, cattle in the uh, capture. Over 100 of those are the beef shortfall. Email on, on or after the 1st of April again, last year. Here we are, our next exhibit forward. This is Lot 2407. This is by G. Bailey Marshall. This is Craig Assi Sophie. Sophia. All the animals in this class turned out to the best of their ability, all immaculate. So the Beef Shorthorns, uh, these classes are sponsored by the Royal Bank of Scotland. So without these sponsors, uh, these shows just wouldn't happen to the same level. Well, I think Jane's got a work cut out in this class. As they say, variety is a spice of life. And as you see, there's a variety of colours. Here we have our next exhibit. This is like 2408. This is like T.A. Jackson. To red. This is Ben I D K third. Some of the ones are probably most desirable. But they all have their strengths. As we're seeing all the different colours in these animals, the variation, very much an aspect of the beef short horn breed that we know. So the beef short horns have come a long way. I mean, the beef records go back some 200 years. And it wasn't that long ago, they were a rare breed in this country, very unfashionable. And let's go back to the, the 1950s and 60s hey, yeah, and next into the time. 70s. Our this next is breeds of cattle got too small. Two, four, and ten. And this is by Tom McMillan. Argentinian market. This is Estragon Fairy Sarah. Well made cattle. Oh. And then. It was discovered that uh, we weren't producing our native cattle to meet commercial um, specifications. So the Charolais were brought in. The first um, experiment of our done with the, the then Ministry of Agriculture. This is two, four, uh, eleven. Fresh and judge now. This is exhibited by Alan Hay. This is Willing and Honeysuckle. And the results were spectacular. And the Charolais came in in big numbers during the 1970s and made a big impression, dominating and revolutionizing the British cattle beef industry. Since then, the native breeds have had to play catch up. And now we have 
native breeds, Angus's and Shorthorns, that are every bit as I think big considering the age, these heifers behave uh, exceptionally well in such a big crowd or with ten eyes or new environments for these animals. Acting very calm under the pressure of it all. Next we have another solid colour, a white heifer this time. Coming up to a judge now. This is two for twelve. This is again exhibited by Alan Haig. This is Willingham Eva Broadhooks. Next animal forward in this class. This is lot two for thirteen. This is exhibited by DNM Wiley, and this is so Bailey Sage. Uh, been here many times before, mostly at the, the on the end of the halter. She has won the championship here and bred champions here. So um, she knows what it's all about. The animal in front of us now is more of a traditional mark, the Bonin crosses heifer. And then we have our last heifer forward in this class. This is our first class. Just a reminder, this is heifer born on or after the 1st of April 22. This is our concluding heifer for this class. This is lot 2, 4, 14. This is exhibited by m and 7. This is highly sassy money. last effort of this class just leaving off there. These animals will now walk around the ring a few times just so the judge can see the locomotion and the movement of these animals. Following this there will be a provisional placing.
starting to see the original line forming in front of us now. We currently have standing in first prize. Lot 2402. This is Black Margot Sally. Currently standing in second. This is Lot 2413. Then in third, we've got 2405. Just asking the first three to walk out their animals. The critical a very side, close um, selection we all have our own ideas of um, what we think should be where. This first but, class um, being very strong. Today, uh, Jane Landers is the lady in charge. It's her decision. Just anybody tuning in, this is the conclusion of our first class of the day. This is heifers born on or after the 22nd of April, 22. So these are the youngest heifers of the day. No less a strong class, 14 entries. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Big job on here. Uh, I've got plenty to say, so I'll try and shut it down a bit. Um, I know all the work that goes into the exhibitors. There's a lot of work behind the scenes, being there myself. So everybody that's here today, thank you for coming. Uh, the stand of the cattle is magnificent. There is age issues, but uh, you know, age is at last kind of dictates. But at the end of the day, they could have went two or three other ways. But as I say, the likes of the shorthorn has come a long way and very proud to be a shorthorn breeder. And I hope you enjoy your day too. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. There we are, our judge. So, class two yeah, on this, just given her for a female born on the 1st of April 2022, first 2402, yeah, second 2413, Two four zero five, four two four zero seven, fifth two four zero one, and sixth two four one four. Just confirming that our first prize today. This is lot two four zero two. This is Black Black Book Margot Sally, our second prize heifer. Is lot two four one three. This is Burley Sage, standing in. Fifth, we have lot third, sorry, we have lot 2405, this is Isla Sparkle. Meaning our first prize, lot 2402, will be followed by the championship. Uh, 
beloved, our first class of the day. A very successful class and a good point for the breed. So many happy for for our first class of the day. Just a reminder. No. Good point for the breed. These are our this year with uh, numbers on them. So, classes guess, for the Ivan Hellerjohn cattle. Make sure that you've got your cattle. Short horn right. heifers. So, in the first class of Charolais, class 251, your female born on or between the 1st of April and the 31st of July 2023. So, as I was first, first with class, the first class, the ring will be ready for our second, second class. This is class 201. This is female born after the 1st of January and on or before the 31st of March 22. In class 252, be a female born on or between the 1st of January and the 31st of March 2022. So we're second class. First, 2812. And catalogue, we've got a total of 20 entries forward. We've got a result. Zero. And another half a class after this. Third, 2813. Four, two, eight, one, four. Over the six classes. Five, two, eight, zero, nine. So now judging class two, five, three for a female born on or between the twenty fourth of June. Here we have them starting to head in the ring now. Second class of the day. Just seeing the length of the ring. Two and on or before the 31st of March, 2022. <laughs> These heifer classes being the biggest classes. Really short horns today. This is because these short horn animals are most known for becoming a suckler cow. This is due to their natural hardiness, the high fertility, and then for easy carving and the mothering ability. This makes a short horn the ideal suckler cow. These animals have no traits. Well, making a beef. Maternal mother. And all these animals showing off their traits to the So our second class just having the first walk around the lane, trying to catch it to design, first impressions. Seeing these animals move them, moving around the ring. These animals, of course, are a native breed. And they're actually known as the fastest grown native breed. These animals after the short season will no doubt have a maternal years ahead of them. They are in beef cars for the industry. 
Uh, we are just seeing uh, the heifers all sit together. Just before they come in front of the judge individually. It's the most important time for these animals getting inspected without the comparison of the others. Uh, Trying to make the best impressions in front of the judge. Okay, so, so this is the part 2001 is the split, and the split comes after uh, 2425. Uh, this is animal 2415. So this is really the youngest animal in this class is the 25th of February. Uh, and the oldest is the 2nd of January. So just to anybody that didn't hear that, this class, class 201, has now been split into two classes. It's been split after lot 2425 into two different age groups. So these first animals... These first animals are the older animals. Second heifer. Uh, this is Renan Lovely Sapphire. This is uh, 416 in front of the judge now. Our next heifer forward, this is lot 2417, this is Lowther Melody. Animal approaching the judge. This is lot 2420. This is Kriega Utopia. Uh, 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 uh,
Ah, Sun and Four, this is lot two for two one. This is Harley with Skies Sapphire. This is our first time trialing live stream for a beef short horn cattle. The first ever show, and what a show to start off with. The Highland Show with 101 beef short horns for everybody. So far, looking quite successful. We've got 66 people tuning in. Watching our second half of class of the day. Just a reminder, this class has been split and we're currently seeing the oldest animals in this class. This is lot 2422, this is Black Group, Have a Maid Star. These animals behaving impeccably well. So in perfectly in front of our judge. Hopefully I don't jinx it by saying that. As well as the sun is beaming down on this ring. Lovely turnout. Around the ring is packed watching these beef short horn. The weather is on our side. The numbers are up for beef short on, so I guess people will be waiting for me, waiting for me to come out with the, uh, the solar power horn noise. Uh, you know, what we have here in uh, this um, beef industry in the UK are the most efficient lawn mowers on the planet. They are edible. In that, this green grass that we're walking around on is undigestible um, to us as human beings. But these animals here, through the process of uh, fermentation and distillation, convert Our next that grass into in front of the judge. This is like two. Four, uh, two, three. This is headland flossy uh, that we use in our everyday lives. Uh, ladies, your shoes and handbags. Most of them come from the skins of animals like these. Cosmetics is another thing that comes from the byproduct of animals. Yet, as an industry, we're being criticised for destroying the planet. And, and to my way of thinking. Beef cattle are part of the solution going forward. And interestingly, at the, the Altec conference in Dublin this week, um, the suggestion was being made that there's more methane um, released into the atmosphere from long grass and composting not from two, the four, likes of two, four. parks. Purple, Dora, and um, just rotting vegetation that is not consumed by these animals. So the science out there is, uh, I guess, not accurate yet. Uh, one day it, it might become so. So in reality, ladies and gentlemen, what these animals are, are plant-based proteins. Just work that one out. I would suggest that they can be consumed by vegetarians. So you know, we're so to an animal on the planet. That Speaking of those debate against the ongoing crisis regarding beef farming and global warming and pollution. Roughage, cellulose, grass, you and name it. Of in favor of these animals. Into human food. Uh, this is our conclusive animal in this class. This is a 2425. This is Headland Rosetta Scarlet. Uh, 
Ah. I think we just ah. suffered a minor disruption there in the live stream, hopefully. It's back running. The beef short horn with its history, two hundred odd first. years thereabouts, has been used nice uh, for the Dutch all over the world. And as the British Empire expanded, so hopefully something people enjoy. Watching. And we went as a, as a, a country. We ended up in uh, in the Americas and Australasia. Yeah, that was our final animal. Producing food to bring back class. to this country, because following the Industrial Revolution, when people moved from a subsistence way of life in the countryside. They moved into what became the industrial areas as cotton Each stage and was, was brought in the of the, so um, the around Americas. The no less important. We also started uh, the heavy, heavy steel industry. Uh, and, uh, and people moved. Uh, to the people were required to do the work. Any minute now, would you? Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, 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 Fed. And so farming has changed. Our animal is a surprise. This is lot of 2420. This is clearly utopia. There are new ways that were required to feed the nation. And that's still required today. We still have, or so it appears, um, a heap of or a great number of hungry people relying on uh, food banks. Yeah, yeah, but uh, and first and second prize, this is like 2420. And we are going to try standing in the second prize. As we possibly can. Uh, and it seems uh, that uh, so strong we, our prices have. get beaten down by the supermarkets. You go to the supermarket and that you check out your till receipt will tell you that uh, your shop today is less than it would have been if you'd gone to one of the competitors. Uh, last week I was down at the three so counties. Um, this in, is uh, like. Uh, so we have our provisional third and, third, uh, and uh, just line up the rest of this. Should have a final look and, and then finalize ah, to conclude our second class of the day. Totally amazed that food in the UK is cheaper than it is in Zimbabwe. Just point that one out. Food miles and all. Judges looking over these animals. Making sure our decision is right. Ah, ah, ah. So interrupted there. Um, yeah, uh, it seems that it is a race to the bottom as to how much how cheap our food can be provided to um, the consumers. So we, as farmers, um, struggle to be profitable. No, that this class will take a lot of finalising the quality and the numbers in this class. And this was the first half of our class. This is class 201. This is a female born after the 1st of January and on the 31st. Because these are future uh, leaders for everybody. And uh, I've kind of gone on the type that I like myself because I learned over the years that Flash got me up against the boys that had the condition. So I've gone for Flash today, but they've got everything else correct behind them. As I say, tremendous show of efforts. This, this class, these classes are always the hardest. And I hope you appreciate the boys today because there's a great spectacle in front of you. Very proud to have watched the uh, the ball. Thank you. So the judge just justifying their decision for placing these animals. Go on for animals, she'll choose herself. Oh. Animals. Oh. 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 Your first prize is 2420.
Second, two, four, two, one. Third, two, four, two, three. Fourth, two, four, two, five. Fifth, two, four, one, five. And sixth, two, four, two, four. Just a reminder there, in first prize we had lot 2420, this was Kruger Utopia. In second prize we had lot 2421, this was Highly Luscious Sapphire. In second, this was 2423, this was Headline Flossy Sassy. Well, first is the Heifer the Classes of the Short Horn Breed, today at the Royal Highland for sure. Uh, uh, Our competitors, I just congratulate uh, you for that. Uh, 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 So we'll see in the ring next. The next half of this class, because this class was split into two. You will see left two, four, six onwards. In catalogue, we have nine entries for the second half of this class. So this will be the younger animals of this class. Just being judged there, we have the older animals. So I believe these animals will be younger born than the 22nd of February. So born after and between the 31st of March 2022. Yeah, yeah. There we are by the next Please animals yeah. starting to come into the swing. It's a rather good advert for the breed these classes have been splitting in two. Ah. So we're seeing the younger animals, the second class. <laughs> After this class, we'll have our next female class. This is females born in 2021. Following that, we will have a female in milk or in calf. Older again, born before the 31st of December 2020. And that will be our conclusive female cast before we move on to our bull classes. So just a reminder to everybody, this is the second half of the second class. This class was split. So we're seeing before us the younger heifers.
seen around the ring, barely a place to stand. There was a, quite a crowd formed for these short ones today. Here's Joe Hathers moving forward to the judge. This is lot two, four, two, six. This is Maple Gem Duchess Pride. Start of the younger Hathers. This class being quite split between the typical, more traditional round heifers and more solid coloured heifers. We've seen every variety forward for the general public today. This is Emma Pride. There were so many females going to be coming out in these classes. It's lovely to see everybody supporting the show like this. And thank you to you, the exhibitors, as well, for coming along. Um, what a set of efforts at the top end, the strength, the power, but there is a massive age in this class. There's some really nice efforts down the bottom end of the class, but just today that they're outpowered by the uh, by the strong ladies up the front. Um, it is really a credit to you guys. You know, these lineup of five or six actors in the front here are just tremendous. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Arvo. Yeah, the Highland Show likes to get you get my money's worth. So. <laughs> so no, I think as I say, you know, the ringside, we're all our own judges. But the man in the middle, or the lady uh, in the middle, is in the hot spot. We'll see uh, our next heifer. You know, when you're judging, this is not two things, four two uh, This is Bell and Brioche, Sophia. That you don't see on the outside. The fact that uh, most of these animals are handled by the judges. And um, what you feel, um, whether it's soft, whether it's fat, whether it's lean, it all comes into uh, the mindset and the decision-making process. And what looks fantastic on the outside might be very different on the inside. So going back into the short horn ring, we're on the second split. So this is the second split of class two thousand uh, two hundred and one. The female born after the uh, where are we? The third of well, effectively the first of March. Through to the end of March. So uh, these have oh, 
Rover Ford. This is lot 2429. This is Charles Berry Highway Worthy. 2022. <laughs> Being coming towards the judge now. This is lot two four thirty. This is Shaw Hill to drop Starburst. This is lot 2431. This is Jordan Susie Q. This is lot 2433. This is Stroth and Drake Golden Girl. So in the shadow of the ring, we're judging past 254 for a female born on or between the 1st of January and the 23rd of June 2021. We've got our conclusive heifer in this class. This is a 2434. This is West Broad Bramble, Bramble Sylvia. The split for that being all the animals we've judged so far are junior champions. In that the cutoff date is the is a two year old on the day of the show. Uh, 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 
These animals move around. That was the conclusion of the second half of this class. Just to remind me of the younger, younger heifers. It's a March barn in 21. Yeah, our heifers currently standing in first and second prize. In first, we have the two, four, two, nine. This is Charlesbury Highland Rosie. And then standing in second currently is two, four, thirty. This is Shaw Hill Dewdrop Starburst. And then three Brown currently, two, four, three, four is third. And then two, four, three, one is fourth. Now we've seen there uh, our current first to third. Standing the animals proud, trying to get them to put their ears forward. So, one final look at by the judge. There we are, that decision has been finalized, leaving in first prize for 2429, Charles Billy Highland Rosie, and then second, 2430. This is Shaw Hill Dewdrop Stars. In the class 201, from a short horn female born after the 1st of January and before the 31st of March, second split. So, first, 2429, second, 2430, Six, two, four, two, six, and seven, two, four, three, three. We'll be moving shortly on to our third class of the day, our third female class. This will be class two, zero, two. This will be female born in 2021. Again, another fantastic entry with 20 catalogue for this class. So 
the last few members of the meeting for that class. We'll be welcoming our 2021 females in any second. Shorthorn breed, really proven a day that native breeds aren't a dying breed with these cattle being 100 or 101 out of 700 cattle in the hall of the cattle shed today at the Highland Show, leaving these classes as the biggest classes of the day. Big achievement for the beef shorthorn. We show this scale to be the dominating beef breed. And we are seeing our heifers 21 born starting to make their way into the ring now. 20 and he's catalogued. Moving on in the short horn ring to class 202 for a female born in 2021. We may be seeing another split in this class in some of these heifers. But even though it's at foot, just like that one in front of us. After number two, treble four. So we have it confirmed our Which class is is on the 13th of March. Leaving 10 entries in this class, our older heifers. There's a born between the 5th of January 21 and the 30th of March 21. Offers in this class certainly demonstrate the maternal cow qualities as we see there, cow of only two with a calf at foot. We've got the 10 oldest heifers in this class forward first. Here we have got two, four, three, five. The oldest heifer in this class. This is headlined Foxglove Tansy Roxy. Demonstrating the variety of the short horn. Great for you for any reduction. Everybody standing ringside, but the ring still is full. Everybody engrossed in these competitive heifer classes today. Four, two, eight, three, seven. Fifth, two, eight, three, five. And sixth, two, eight, four, zero. Uh, 
as heifers could have been on the shore circuit last year, as younger heifers, so theoretically should stand very calm and very proud in front of the judge. So these are our most mature heifers. Before we move on to our cow class. Have our cow and calf in this class making their way for the judge. This is last. So in the show, we're now class two double five, two four, 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 two the maternal quality is really shining through in this class. Strength in the build of all these animals. Paramedic, first aider, please, in the vicinity, if we could go to the bottom of the judge's ring uh, by the farmer's guardian site. This is lot two, four, three, in front of the judge. Ring number this is 12. Charlesbury Mackendorpos. Pride. So if there's a paramedic handy, please, can they go to the bottom end of ring 12? That's the beef short on ring. Uh, we have an incident. Please. This is lot 2439. This is Lennon Brush Warner. This is 2441, this is Glenanoch, Rosalie, another Braun Heifer in this class.
This is two, four, four, two. This is Blaine Speck, Margot Rose. This is a two, four, four, three. This is Grand Jewel of Gorgeous Rose. This is the first part of Bellows Heifer class. So these are heifers that are born between January and March of 21. One of these heifers has a calf head foot. And some may have even been AI'd or bold already. Collie in these classes certainly get no less as we go on. Classes need to be split due to size. Our class before was split in this class. Our older heifer class has been split as well. So we'll see in the last heifer before us now in this class. This is lot two, four, four, four. This is Bella and Bella was a lie. I'm sure nobody can particularly envy the judge's decision today. So, class two, double classes. five for a family female born on or after the 1st of January and the 31st of December 2020. First, 2842. Second, 2845. Fourth, 2846. Okay, so you've currently got our calm calf. In first prize, this is lot 2473. This is Porter Hall Tessa Radiance. Currently standing in second prize, we have lot 2441. This is Glenville Apple Rose Lai. It's currently in third prize, we have lot 2456. So for a female in milk or in car born on or before the 31st of January 2019. <laughs> Heifer standing in first prize with the calf of foot really symbolising the maturity and the growth rate of these animals. This heifer being able to carve down to two years old with a strong calf of foot, consequently winning this 
2021 Pepper class. A great example for showing the maternal traits of this breed. So, in class 2,202, for a short haul female born in 2021, first 2437, second 2441, third 2435, fourth 2443, fifth 2442, and sixth 2436. Here All ladies and gentlemen, you will be wondering what's going on here, but the beauty of the short horns is you can carve them at two if you've got the land, and if you've got hill land, you can wait later. Uh, it's really a choice of your own, suiting your place. So I thought the cow with the car was spectacular considering she's working, and the rest of them are going to have lovely short horn calves soon, um, but that's why there's a variety here. But the beauty of the short horns is they can suit any condition, any land, and they'll do you well. Anyway, thank you. There we are, the judge there. We are commercial about short horn food. Our ability to farm everywhere. And if you do the sum to manage harder ground, if you start oh, the ground, we have a carved down a two year old. It's like 10 animals, it's probably easy to do the sum. And you carve them uh, two batches, one at uh, three years old, one at two years old. And if half your calves are heifers, you keep as replacements, and half your calves are males that uh, you would sell. And um, after 10 years, if you've been carving at two years old, you'll have double the numbers of cows than you would be if you're carving at three years. I'll let you do the maths and the sums and work it out. But in this day and age, where our margins are being squeezed, as I was talking earlier about the supermarkets, they seem to be very reluctant to pay for over the odds to uh, get their beef or lamb or whatever. Agricultural produce maybe not help us by us as primary producers that don't collaborate and uh, work together on these matters. Um, so money counts, and you know we, we've got to have viable businesses that are sustainable the... financially. Uh, uh, you know, animals in this class. Uh, these animals are born from the end of March onwards. We have a sporting we have ten animals catalogued in this half of the class. This class was split. So there's 20 entries forward and two tens, an older half and a younger half. So now we have the younger half. Short horn ring now, we have the second split of class 202, a female born in 2021. This class was the 19th of August. Sorry, beg your pardon. 
youngest one is the 17th of October. So middle March through to the middle of October. Straight on with the second half, first half. First half is this is two four four five. This is Tunsaya Iona for first. Just a reminder, the winner of the first half is class was Port Hall Tessa Radiance. This was a half out with a carpet foot. And the class with huge variety of short arm. Some solid, some slightly round, some fully round like the heifer in front of us. So our next heifer, this is lot 2446. This is Stone Hills, Sally Broadhooks, sixth. have some bookies here we could take bets as to what's going to happen this is lot 2447 this is Jordan Cara Rio this is our third heifer in this class this is the younger half of what we have this seen. cow class these say, are females born in 2021 that have been around in this country for 200 years and the Shireleys have been around here for uh, 60, 60 odd years now. Charlie's came in and, as I say, revolutionized the, um, the British beef industry. But they didn't have to change. Um, the native breeds have changed dramatically over those last 50 years. And we still see a variation in types. Big ones, not so big ones, um, fleshy ones and leaner ones. Uh, we've probably got more variety in the native breeds now as we've chased the, uh, the dominance of the European con continental breeds. As I say, led by the Charolais, followed by the Simmentals, and latterly the Lebazans. The next half of forward, this is lot 2448. This is Balnebrush. I think there's, um, there's probably a little bit more variety in this class than some of the classes we've seen. So I think that probably uh, gives us another excuse for how well to explain itself. Heather's in this class for Haven, remarkably calm. Hopefully, I don't jinx that. Another solid. 
another solid coloured heifer on its way forward. Certainly nice for everybody watching to see such variety. Not only colour but type in these classes. This is a 2449. This is Isla Hill Roxy. Seen a huge variety in the animals in these classes. Some being smaller and bigger framed, some being smaller and stockier. Also having a pair of us, pearl beef short on breed. We're on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, thanks, James. Well, that was a very nice cow and calf class, and really, this powerful lady at the front here just had to dominate the ring today um, with a very, very good calf with it. Um, equally, the second prize. Uh, Cow and calf with this tremendous heifer, uh, but just dominated this is with the power. Two of four fifty. This is front, but, you know, Kurt Essie, really nice. Equal pass. Nice to see these girls working hard. Um, Turn it out the goods. So back to the exhibitors. So thank you, Arnold. So your winner in the class two five six is. Two eight four eight. Second, two eight four seven. Third, two eight five zero. Four, two eight five three. And fifth, two eight five two. So first, two eight four eight. Second, two eight four seven. Third, two eight five oh, four, two eight five three, and fifth, two eight five two. This is left two four five two. This is Arbadona Rock Candy. These animals certainly a credit to all exhibitors. So we'll be moving on to the full classes next to judge all the Mackie. championships at the end. There's different ways to turn these animals out. Some people prefer to slick their hair up over on the sides to exaggerate the width of these animals. Some prefer to slick and having their hair down over, just brushed down. So it all just depends and adds to the variation in these classes. This is lot 2453. This is West Broad Yogurt Ruby. So you know, final half in this half of the class. This was a penultimate half. This was the younger heifers. And this is the two four five four. This is Maple Jam White Fire at Miss Lee. So 
these are heifers. The class was 202, this was heifers born in 2021. However, the class was split into two, so these are the younger heifers. These are born by the catalogue between the 21st of March and the 17th of October 21. Here we are, the judge is signaling to animals to walk around. Decisions starting to be made imminently. So, the first prize hold up currently. This is lot 2450. This is a Craig Raquel. Second prize provisionally. We have 2445. This is Dunsire Iona at 41st. Just two half is there. Now the judge is continuing to add her line up. Yeah, we are pulled up in first currently. Third, sorry. It's 2452. This is Urban Rocker Candy. So there we have our provisional first to third in the younger section of the 2021 20, born heifers. And we have the decision remaining the same. Even the 2450. This is so the Gassi Raquel in first prize. Place of the short horn class 202. First 2450. Second 2445. Third 2452. Fourth 2454. Fifth. There we are, these animals are sleeping out the ring now with our second half of our class next into the ring. We have class 203. This is female in milk born calf, born on or on the 31st of January 2020. This is our smallest female class. Third, 2452. However, still a strong entry of 12 entries forward. 2454. Short horn cow class. Six, oh, seven, seven, oh. Seeing our conclusive female class. So the next class in the short horn ring is two days is two hundred and three. A female in milk orange cow. After this we will start our bull horses of which we have three of four of those. Oh, Uh, that was a hard class. Yeah. His voice is coming over, but it's fine. But his voice is coming over when he's talking. So it's a narrowly ring, class 257. Oh, 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 oh
Is it working now? Is the sun Robert? Is the sun again? Sorry. Have you turned the sun again? I can turn it off. Oh. Looking like first, we're doing the junior female championship. So, this will be best junior female rosette and reserve a junior female rosette. So, we'll welcome in. So, results for class 257 for a shower of the ball board. So this is 2 4 20. 2 4 First, 2 8 6 0. Second, Four, two, zero, eight, two. Five, seven, and third, two, eight, five, six. So that's first, two, eight, six, zero. Second, two, eight, five, seven. Third, two, eight, five, six. Two, four, five, two is another exhibitor in this class. So these are all the judges' first place animals in our junior female section today. So this will be a very tough class for to decide the champion. And reserve champion, I believe. So the next class in the Charlie ring is class 258. Yeah, these are the most down to line up. Between the 1st of January and the 31st of March, 2022. So these are all of our animals that we've seen before in the ring. The penultimate class for all these exhibitors. Mm -hmm. After playing first in their class in tough classes, they've now got a championship. Mm -hmm. Crucial moment for all exhibitors. So before us, we've got lot two four zero two. This is Black Book Margot Sally. We've got two four twenty. This is Craig at Utopia. We've got two four two nine. This is Charlesbury Highland Rosie. And then we've got two, four, five, two. This was Abaddon at Rock Candy. So in the short horn ring now, we are order. judging the junior female champion. So we've got our youngest animals to the right, and then to our young oldest ones on the left. And behind all these first prize. We have the second prize. Ready for a potential reserve champion person. Leaning at the second prize to the champion. We'll come forward for reserve. So this is for the junior female champion in the short horn ring that's anything under two years old today. So we've got the first class, this was class 200, this was the female bond Ono after the 1st of April 22, and the winner of this is just to the right there, this is 2, 4, 
0-2, this is Black Group and Argos Sally. We move on to our second class winner. This is Hefferborn on this half one after the January the first, before thirty first of March twenty two. And the first prize was twenty four. So your junior female short on tap here is two four two zero. So that is Champion Hopper. There's Ark with uh, Krieger Utopia. So this was the winner of class 201. This was female born after 1st of January and on or before the 31st of March 2022. So this is 24. 20. And your reserve female yeah. champion, junior champion that is, 2452. So we have to congratulate each other there. We have champion in reserve and in reserve spot. So this is Abadona Rock Candy from RNC Retty. We've got 2452. This was the winner of the second half of female born in 2021. This is Abadona Rock Candy. So there is our junior and female champion in reserve. So now we have coming into the ring our cow class. So our penultimate female class of the day. This is class 203. This is female in milk or in calf, born on or before the 31st of December 2020. So these cows could either be in calf or standing with a calf at foot in this class. There's 12 entries catalogued for this class. So our final. Female class of the day, the Royal Helen Shaw, Beef Short Horn Judging. Class is probably the best promotion for the female section of this breed. Just seeing the condition these animals can hold, the milk that they carry in, as well as the calf that they rear in. All these calves look at in as good as condition. All of them are Two, 
It's quite a powerful class. All the cows seem protective. So the next class board in similar the cars. For a bull board on or before the 31st of January 2020. All these pairs are outfits. Seen as they're walking on the ring. So in the short haul of the ring, we have class 203 for a female in milk foreign car for a model before the 31st of January 2020. So just for reference, these are the ones. These cows are from 2015 born, being the oldest, and up to 2020 born. This is our oldest cow. This is our 2015 born cow. This is Love 2455. This is Train View, lovely Julia. Um, still behaving remarkably well. Class 261 for a Charlie Bull, born on or before the 31st December 2020. Your winner, 2870. These animals are put under a lot of pressure and still perform well, considering. They're in strange surroundings that are only themselves, but they're caught with foot. This car is like two, four, five years. This is Abadonna Leila. This is a 2017 born cow. Next, we have a two, four, five, nine. This is quite a whole fantasy muddy. This is a 2018 car.
is lot 2460. This is another 2018 bone cow. This is Stonehill's Princess Pearl 4. The sound ring, we're about to judge the female championship. This next cow forward is slot 2461. This is me on side, Tessa Nibula. Next cow, this is lot 2462. This is Glen Isla Foxglove Flay. <laughs> the views are remain constant. You can see the little count, which is a this is also our first beef shot on live stream. And what a day to do it. The opening live stream. Such a big show, the Vine Highland Show. Not only that, but to top it off with the biggest cattle entry. Beef short on, have the most entries. 101 cattle out. Out of just over 700 animals. Two four six four. This is Potter Hall at Rita Petunia. This is a twenty twenty bone cow. Our cow leads off. We have our next cow approaching the church. This is lot 2465. This is Dunsay at Layla 60th. On to the final cows, and this is another 2020 bone cow. I don't think we can knock them. The cows behaving impeccably well with their calves at foot in this strange surrounding. 
so this helps to reflect the docile temperament. This is the final female we'll have in the ring today. Before we move on to those, this is lot 2466. This is our final cow, 2021 cow. This is Perdia Skylark. Well, I would say that's a pretty impressive lined up show of females, which I think is gives Darwell a little bit of head scratching. This is the final lap for our female shuffles today. You want to speak first? Your female champion. Our judge making her line up. Curtis Simon and first prize. This is a long This is a 2020 born cow. So this is 2842 from AGR Farms with New Logie Royal Eclipse. This is a 2020 born cow. This is Hot Ho Rita Petunia. Standing up in the second, we've currently got up 2458. This is a 2017 born cow. This is Abaddon and Layla. And then in third, we've currently got 2461. This is Leon Side at Tessa and This is a 2019 born cow. Excellent turnout for our final female uh, class of the day. Uh, Lovely variety in our cows and calves. So again, thanks to the sponsors, in this case Harbour and Fallon and Trump. Without these sponsors, um, these shows just wouldn't happen to the same extent. So well done guys. <laughs> Okay, Jane's speaking. I think she actually might need the microphone. I can't hear her. <laughs> Which will be a first. <laughs> Judge can a few words. Anyway, as I was saying, what a great array of cows and calves. The ring was full, made a big uh, hard job for me. But every cow there is worthy of, his, of, of, of being a short horn. The breeders have got tremendous cattle here today. And as I say, 
when you look at these short ones, if you haven't got some, you're trying to get some because they're worth having. So thank you for Seen our cars and cars leading out the ring. So that was first two four six four. Second two four five eight. Third two four six one. Fourth two four six zero. Fifth two four double six. And six two four six five. So, in the short horn ring, we're about to judge the female championship. Next into the ring, we will be starting our female championship for concluding the males. two cows and calves just hanging back. Our first prize cow will be in this championship course and then the second prize cow is stood just waiting to see who will be pulled off as champion. There we are, we're starting to see the return of some first prizes. This is lot two for 20 coming back into the ring. This is when the first half of the female born after 1st January and on or before the 31st of March 22. This was our overall junior champion. And we have two, four, three, seven. This was our winner of the female born in twenty twenty one. Your reserve female champion, um, two eight one eight from Andrew Hornell, followed by Susie, is also the junior female champion. Uh, and then we've got 2450. Yeah. So we're the waiting half. for a second prize to, uh, so what are we doing? A waiting? 21 born heifer. This was Kragasi Rakao. And then we've got so our and calf. So we have, if we go through again from right, we have our youngest short on, it was already one junior female champion, and we've got our heifer with the calf foot. This was 2437. We've got the winner of the second half of the 21. Born class, it's a lot two four fifty. And then we've got our first prize, cow and calf. So these are four entries to win in their classes for female overall champion. 
And then we've got the second prizes sub behind them. Just the chubby was tapped out. And we have the judge just scrutinizing. Another big decision, Jay. So we have all those animals from left to right. Are we on this already having junior champion? There we have so it. So your beef show home female champion is two four and six four. Oh, you done, sir. So this is This is 2464, this is Potter Hall, Rita Petunia, token female champion. So, this is Harry Hall, and this is her Potho, Rita Petunia. So we have for anybody who's tuning in, this is our female champion in front of us. This was first prize Calvin Carr, so it's number 2464. And the reserve female champion is... Therefore, five eight. Oh. 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 So we have its second prize for the champion was tapped out as overall. This is lot two, four, five, eight. This is Abadona Layla. So we have the cows and calves of Rain Champion Adair. Of course, first and second prize in the cow and calf class. And going on to take champion and reserve the champion. All animals, nevertheless, worthy. All a great example of the breed, as we're pitched first in such a tough. I did the early ring, if you haven't worked it out. The uh, 2 8 double 2 is the reserve junior female champion from Robert, Robert McMurray uh, with thematic style. So we have some uh, new Shirley Society um, presentation trophies this year. There we are, our females. And one last lead off for the day before we start and introduce our males. There it is four male classes. In the first class, we'll enter into the ring. It will be class 204. This is Bill that born on or after the 1st of April 22. Right 
and the judgment isn't over. We're just waiting to start our male short horn classes for the day. We've got quite as many entries as it was for the female section. However, the quality should be just as high. Our first class having 12 entries in. There we have it. They're starting to make their way in. This is our youngest school class. So these bulls are all approximately a year old. These bulls are born on or after the 1st of April 22. <laughs> These range from our oldest bull there. I've seen walking on there, being born the 1st of April 22. And our youngest bull being the 2nd of July 22. <laughs> Hopefully we're waiting on more balls forward, kind of just put one in the ring. Some more balls making their way to the ring now. These are really important, these being 50% of an entire calf head. The tick box is being more precise. These are the balls. Well, as you can see, they're slightly more prone to be flighty than in the way themselves. These boys making a statement in the ring. Variation again in the types, short on types. We're seeing more thicker, shorter bulls, we're seeing longer, larger frame bulls. Again, it's just preference within the breed. We're seeing the same sort of uh, turnout, some being pushed up over, like these bulls currently coming around, some are pushing them down over. So, within the short on breed, shown wise, there's a lot of variation. Not only colours and types, but how the exhibit is actually turned animals out. This is lot two, four, six, seven. Approaching the judge now. This is our first bull in the class. This is This is Don Casimir Saltire, this is the first bull.
your Charlie male champion. It's 2869 from Richard McCormick with Great Nick Thor. Next ball. This is not two, four, six, eight. This is Highland Sovereign. And your reserve male champion Charolais is 2870 from Braille's Livestock with Tom Lee Reynolds. Now, the 2869 bull, Richard McCormick's uh, Rick Nick Thor, your male champion, is also the junior male champion. So we'll be waiting for the second, his second prize winner to come into the ring. So two, four, seven, zero. Oh. Is it? Oh right. I'm... This is you know, the Golden Sun Man. So then there'll be a choice between these two remaining. Oh. Oh, we're back here for the reserve junior male oh. champion. Seven one. This is Mira Stormzy. We're coming to the crescendo in the Charlie ring, where it's the head to head between the male and the female champions for the overall Supreme Championship. <laughs> This next ball, this is lot 2472. This is Willingham Salamander. These bulls are behaving as you'd expect, considering their young age, the rates of testosterone, and the environment around them. It is quite a spooky environment. These bulls, all in all, are responding rather well. Thank you. 
This is left 2473. This is Mira's strong ball. Currently in the short order ring, class 204, Rabul born on or after the 1st of January 2022. This next ball, this is lot 2474, this is William Spitfire. <laughs> So the Charlie ring now is the uh, two four seven seven. This is your overall spring jump. This is Burley Saltire. Just a reminder, this is the first of our male classes. This is our youngest goals. So before our world taps out his champion, he will uh, speak and uh, give us his, his ideas, his thoughts as to what's been happening. <laughs> As I said earlier, you know, different judges look for different things. You know, all animals have strengths and uh, weaknesses, and it's um, it's a compromise as to what's run, what's best, and what's not, or more attractive to some and less attractive to others. So we'll find a goal. In not this exactly class today. an exact yeah. science. Um, fashions change. So it's always interesting to hear what the judges are thinking. This is lot 2478. This is Black Brook Solomon. Size at any show. Um, it's been tremendous. 
as an amazing support to the show from the exhibitors, and I'd like to thank the exhibitors for for the time and effort. The work has been done at home before coming here. And believe you me, there is a lot of work getting these animals to this caliber. I tried to judge my classes like I would actually buy the camel. And I know that's only my judgment, but really that's that's really how I try to maintain some sort of normality in my head. What do I like to take home? And I've got to say, male and female champion, a real working animal. Really nice calf alongside her. So I'm very proud of my championship today. And thanks to all the exhibitors for coming. And supporting the show. So I am gonna hand my bike back to James and I will knock out my Supreme Champion of the day. Thank you, I hope. So I have it remaining in first prize. We have the 2474. This is a William Spiffire. In second, we have 2468. This is Highly Sovereign. And in third spot, we've got 2470. This is Bolton Dorin Sandman. Congratulations to all exhibitors. And our first goal class. So behind you, uh, of the, the ring here, on the passage coming up from the um, shearing shed, you have the teams of sheep shearers from all the different countries around the world as they're hosting the uh, World Shearing Competition here this year. So lots of different countries. And there you have it. That is your Charlotte champion. So, Richard McCormick's Rick Nick Thor, number 2869. <laughs> <laughs> As they leave, we enter our biggest catalogue book. Still waiting for the results of the previous class, which is class 204, short haul bull, on on the last of April 2022. First was 2474. Second, 2468. Third, 2470. We're now in class 205 for a bull born after the 1st of January and on before the 31st of March. This class has been split.
yet uh, on the 8th of March. So there we heard it in the class being split. The lot numbers are going up to 2485. So these bills are going up to the 8th of March 22. Right, yeah, so your junior champion. Uh, is two eight six nine. So that is the McCor Richard McCormick's Arignic four, and the reserve champion, reserve junior champion, is eight one eight. So we have our first ball in this class. Two eight one eight. Two four seven nine. This is Lava Sunday. So, in the shower of their ring now, we're about to judge the best pair. So, exhibitors with your pairs, be prepared to bring them forward. Please. We have lot 2480. This is part of all solo. So you've, some of you might just notice there's some extra can cameras in the ring, but the Robert Smith uh, is live streaming the programs of the judging here of the Charlotte's the short horn, and it is global. Um, and next door in the Hereford ring, and in the Highland ring too, that is being live streamed by the Highland show again to a global audience. This is lot 2481. This is Lauda Sorcerer. So it's a, a truly international show. We have visitors here from all around the world. Kiwis that I know about. This is love 2482. This is Haile Sebastian. This next spell 
This is lot 2483. This is Headland Sultan. Next one, this is a two four eight four. This is Eska Craven Supreme. This is two four eight five. This is the last bowl in the first half of this class. This is Bonaila Sirocco. Yeah, we did just have a line that goes up in this class. And we can see currently something in first prize there. We have lot 2482. This is Hailey Sebastian. Second prize currently we've got 2485. This is Glen Isla Sirocco. Just coming around in a third spot, we have 2480. This is put a hold solo. So we have our provisionally. Our three balls pulled between first and third. This could change, this could remain the same. All depending on if anything catches a judge's eye for reconsideration in the lineup. Casting her eye over. I'll give him a nod. Yeah, yeah there we have it. Still in first prize. It's 2482. Second prize, we have up 2485. And in third prize, we have up 2480. Congratulations to all bulls in this class. Just to repeat, like 2482 is highly Sebastian. Up 2485 is Glen Isla Sabaco. 2480 is Potter Hall Solo.
So pass 205 for a ball ball after 1st of January and before the uh, 10th of March. So the first 2482, second 2485, third 2480, fourth in the ring we'll see the second half of that class this will be 2486 onwards so the bulls won between the 11th of march and the 28th of march so these are just slightly the younger bulls in this class Half of this class, but two, four, eight, six onwards. So first ball, this is a 2486, this is This is Curry Steve. Uh, 
Next bit of push in the judge now we have. This is lock two, four, eight, eight. Mm. This is Don Kanzimir. Similar eye. Next bill for the judge, we have lot 2489. This is Jordan Sam. This is about two four nine zero approaching the judge now. This is Charles Berry Snow <laughs> I never say on my There we are. Our next bill is 2491. This is Runny Mill, Samson. Yep. No. 
2493. Another full class. It's good to see the Big Show Home class has been so full catalogued and also the same lot of engines turning out. So this is the final bull in this class. This is 2493. This is West Broad, Scotia. And for being the last bull looked at, so being pulled straight into first prize, we see lot of two, four, nine, three again. This is Westport, Scotia, originally in first prize. This is, and then second prize, we have a two, four, eight, eight currently. This is Jim Casimir Samurai. And in third prize, currently we have two, four, nine, one. This is Running Mill Samson. I would judge today. <laughs> Jane Landers seemed to be keeping most of her placings the same. Trusting her decision and making an instinctive decision as these balls are walking around for final time. Just as I say that, we see one of the first swaps she's done. So. Nina and in third prize, we've now currently got it has changed. We've got two, four, eight, six. This is Glenjill Sammy. Spoke too soon. It's all a process of what the exhibitors do when they're lined up in the final lineup, just to give the ball a bit extra spark and try and catch the judge's eye for one final time, which can sometimes sway the judge's decision. So the second split of class 205, so Marchmont car for a bull. Uh, first, 2493, second, 2488, third, 2486, fourth, 2491, fifth, 2489, and sixth, 2490. So we see 2493. So that's first, 2493. Third, 2486. Fourth, 2491. Fifth, 2489. And sixth, 2490. The next class is for a bull born in 2000. I'll just wait before announcing whether it's the older bulls or the junior. I think that the junior championship. I think that's still being made. Societies, they do things differently. You think you're following the catalogue and it's all hunky dory and then things change. Versatility. I have a feeling there could be the junior championship done just similar to, to the junior females. And then we'll continue on with the older bulls, but I could be wrong. Just wait and see. Mm. 
So I think it's looking like we've got some of the male bulls in that are previous first prizes. Yes, we do. We've got two, four, seven, four, just on the right there. This was a winner of the youngest class. So he is willing and Spitfire, 2474 on the right, our youngest bull. He won the pawn after the 1st of April 22, and then to the left of him we've got 2482. This is the winner of the first half of the second class. This is a bull born after the 1st of January and before the end of March. This is 2482. Currently over there we've got the winner of the second half of that class. This is 2493. This is Westbrook Scotia. So these three bulls will now be competing for junior championship. So it will be junior male junior champion and reserve male junior champion. So the second prize to the champion will be pulled forward and stand for the two bulls to be pulled out for reserve. Currently standing, we've got 2474, 2482, and then the winner of the last class we saw. This is 2493. We will see the winner of this class, so the champion, back in the ring for the overall male championship. To everybody ringside and no doubt there's what to love stream. We delay here because there's a bull actually in the next class that qualifies uh, for this age group. Mm. I'm sure everybody will be making their own so decision ringside and over the phone. However, ultimately, so the this is in the hands of Jane. Junior male championship, uh, which effectively is anything up to two years old today. Or maybe tomorrow. So what we've had here is a bull that has been cat catalogued in the older class. It's actually should have been in the junior classes, so the judge is just in front of the judge now. Mm. This is 2497. This is Kernberg Ranger. That is a bull on the left who was missed from the crosses. And then we've got 2493, 2482, and then 2474. Junior champion is 2474. This was the winner of our youngest class. So this is our youngest bull, 2474. This is Willingham Spitfire. Been so the is from Alan Hay. This is William Spitfire. Ooh, and the reserve junior male. Now we've got 2493 two, in reserve. This is West Broad. So this Scotia. is from Natalie Hyde with West Broad, Scotia. Mm. 
we are Zoo Lead Off, we are starting to welcome our older bulls. This next class, this next class is bull born in 2021. This next class is our smallest class of the day. This is our bullborn in 2021. This is class 206. And there's four entries. <laughs> So we have our bulls starting to come into the ring now. She was born any time in 2021. So we've got them ranging from April born to December born. So first bull in our older classes. This is look two, four, nine, four. This is Strathen Drick of Rhinestone Cowboy. Should be seeing the size, the power, and the docile temperament of these bulls. Oh, these bulls are very placid, very well behaved. They seem very unfazed. Hopefully, I haven't jinxed it again, but too tight. They're a docile animal. These bulls are currently representing that. Considering all the distractions that they've got, a strange place around strange people. And they're behaving remarkably well. And this is not 2495. This is Glen Isla, Leosha. I'm <laughs> saying how gallant. Look how these animals really are. They really are gleaming in the sun. Capturing that rich red colour of these animals. This is lot 2496. This is Coxhill Rio. This is 
our third goal in the class. Following this class is our last like singular class. This is this will be class two zero seven. So we'll be born full born on or before the thirty first of December. So our more aged bulls. And then there'll be a male overall championship, and then we move on. We've got a best pair class and a best a best group class for a short horn breed to conclude our day here at the Royal Highland Show. And we are seeing the same bull again. This is L2497. This is Ken Bud Ranger. So here we are these bulls pulled straight into position. In the first prize we have got two four nine. Mm -hmm. Two four nine four. Two four nine four. This is Stratton Drake, Rhinestone, Cowboy. Send in the second, we have got two four nine five. This is Ranila Rioca. We've got two four nine six. This is Cox Hill Leo. And then a seven fourth prize, we have Ken Bog Ranger. Congratulations to all bulls. They really are fine examples of the breed and help to show such variation. So for the bull. As they leave the ring, we'll be welcoming our final class. This is our Bill's born on or before 31st of December 2020. <laughs> We are welcome in. Now we're all just goals in. A total of six entries for you.
So those of you that didn't get uh, the results written down from that last class, 206, uh, a bull board in 2021, first was 2494, second 2495, third 2496, third 2496. So now, class two, 207 for a bull board on or before the 31st of December 2020. This is our oldest bull in the class. This is lot 2499. This is Hilderland Laird, and this was a 2017 born bull. I must say these bulls really do look spectacular when you see them because they're all in the ring. <clears throat> and Markins, the size, the turnout. Incredible. You really do see the colour variation of these animals at its best on the bulls due to their sheer size and the, the shine on these animals. So, Next, we've got a more solid colour bulb. No less true type, and this is lot 2 500. This is Potter Hall at Lincoln, and again, this is a 2017 born bulb. The edge of these bowls help to show the weight that these animals can hold. So when they've got a working season and a winter, these animals can winter outdoors. And those are a very versatile animal. This next bull, this is a 2501. This is Bale Meadows versus Cavalier. This is a 2018 born bull. <laughs> Here we can really see which aspect this breed is like. For example, in this class, there's some taller bulls, some bigger frame bulls. There's some slightly shorter with a more shape and a little bit more carcass. It all just depends on the breeder's desire. This is lot 2502. This is Port Medoran Nevis. This is a 2019 bond bull. Here we have our final short horn animal to be judged today. 
before we start with Championship and Group Classes. This is lot 2503. This is me on side. And down here. 2019 These bolts all we can't say otherwise have stood absolutely immaculately. Stood perfectly square. Some may have been shown in their youth. However, between then and now, they've just been working balls. And they're all standing incredibly well. They could not be shown themselves any better to our judge today. Miss Jane Launders. As she scrutinises every ball, make a decision in such a tough class. So you have the judge starting to make a line up here. Provisionally first prize, we have 2499. This is Hilda Lund Laird. Actually, I believe I've just heard the judge say that these animals are going to be split into coloured bulls and red bulls. So there's a the red bulls there. An interesting lineup of um, senior short horn bulls. James. Seemingly one of the more harder classes for Jane. I'm surprised me considering the style and size of these bulls. They'll have remain in the first prize. We have 2499. This is Hilda Lund Second prize, we have 2503. This is me on side, Navalia. 2501 takes third. This is Vale Meadows, Flossie's Cavalier. Following this class, we will have our male the championship. Yes, we're live. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, there are some power in these stock rules. As I say, credit to everybody, there's different types to suit different people. But at the end of the day, as I say, a gone for, I used to get told by my dad, he'd go for the bull, it's at 12 o'clock in the day, not quarter two or quarter past, and he's shouting in the ear as it is to be up there. Anyway, thank you guys. Tremendous show of stop rules. Very proud of you all. Uh, thank you. So your winner is 2499. Second, 2503. Third, 2501. Fourth, 2500. And fifth, 2502.
So that's first, two, four, double nine. Second, two, five, zero, three. Third, two, five, zero, one. Fourth, two, five, double, zero. And fifth, two, five, zero, two. So we have our first two prize balls remaining in the ring just to kick off our male championship. This will include our senior champion. So we senior first prize and our junior champion. And our other junior first prize winners. So just to recap, the first goal forward for this championship is 2499. This was a 2017 born stock goal that won class 207. This is Hilda Landlaird. Now we're welcome back in the ring. Lot 2474. This was our junior now champion. The short ordering, we're judging the male championship. Here we are, lot 2474. This is Willingham Spitfire. And then we've got 2494, just to the left. Oh. This is Stroth and Drake Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> so we've got our senior stock ball on the left there. Oh. Got our Bow born twenty one born bow, and then our young bow on the right there. It's two four seven four, two four nine four, and two four nine nine four for the championship. Of course, all second prize is standing behind them. Wait and see which class winner is pulled forward. There we are, our junior champion, getting the overall male, 2474. Your male champion, Beef Shorthorn, is 2474. This is William Spitfire, just waiting so now for the judge to top out his name. Spitfire from Alan A. And the reserve is 2493. There we are, 2493. That Goes to our reserve champion. West Bolt Scotia from Nathan. Congratulations to all Bulls. <laughs> so that is the conclusion of all of our judging. It will be an overall. And then on our group classes. <laughs> For anybody that missed it, we're currently looking at our male championship. This went in two, four, seven, four. William Spitfire and 2493. This is West Broad, Scotia.
Welcome two four two zero back in the ring. A fear of being corrected. Uh, it looks to me as if we're doing the junior championship, which is the head to head between the male and the female. So it's kind of a utopia for a junior championship. Yeah, in the short horns, um, it's, a, it's the junior champion now. The next will be the overall supreme champion, and that will be followed by groups. Here we are. This is the junior championship. A pair, a group, and a pair. So there's a, a pair consisting of one male, one female of any age, bred by exhibitor. And there's a best group of three consisting of one male and two females, and then there's a progeny of one animal, a best pair. So there's your junior champion, and that is the bull, Willing and Spitfire. Willing and Spitfire taken two, four, seven, four. the junior championship of 2474. And the heifer is reserved, 2420. Congratulations to the first prize heifer, being a champion heifer for taking the That's Charles Murray Livestock, and that is Krieger Utopia. We have in the ring with us in the purple shirt. Oh, and he's got a pal with him too. Uh, we've got two purple shirts from the RBS, uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland, our sponsors. So maybe they'll get a, a rosette or two to uh, present at some stage. So again, thank you to Royal Bank of Scotland for sponsoring this section. It's going to be some photos and some presentations before we resume with overall championship and then our groups classes. This is a pair, a group, and then a pair.
Right, just before Jane taps out her champion, she will say a few words. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the spectacular show of Carl here today. I would say second to none. I remember coming here and you were lucky if you had three in a class. So if the short ones have come from 200 years ago, they're going to the future in style. If they can't leave me a minute. <laughs> anyway, my champion today is the young girl and the cow and the calf. So it's between those to see who is the overall champion. So, uh, as I say, both animals are really my type of cattle. I love style, I love flash, because sometimes style and flash can get you a long way if you haven't got the grind to get the, the, the weight. But they both, they both are free walkers, they both are a great um, specimen of short horns. So at the end of the day, I'll have a look round and, and get my champion. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, James. So the championship is out of lot 2464. This is Potter Hall, Rita Petunia. And 2474, this is William Spitfire. So this is our overall female champion and our oh. overall male champion. Oh. Now we have it out of Karen Carr, got 2464. So there is the champion, the whole cow. That is our supreme short so form for the day. Oh, Rita Petunia. Number 2464, your cow. And the junior reserve champion two four seven four from Alan Hay. So well done teams. So just to repeat that's two four six four, our supreme champion for the whole Richard the junior. Oh, oh, right, right. Okay. Just be doing some photos. So we'll just do a little pause in the live stream commentary before we resume the classes. All that's left now, there is a pairs class, a group of three, and then another pairs class. All of the judging has finished. As we can see, the force our champion. <laughs> our short horn oh. passes still to come. Our best pair, consistent of one male and one female of any age, led by Exhibitor. And we've got best group, consistent of one bull and two females. And then we've got another pairs class. This is the presence of one animal. Right by the exhibitor. So as all the judging, just three more classes, pairs of classes to go. I believe this is the SP17, that's a class, this is the best pair, consisting of one male and one female of any age, bred by So in the short horn ring now, we're judging the best pair, consisting of one male and one female of any age, bred by exhibitor. For the Eduardo Ulrich Perpetual Silver Challenge Cup. And actually, the, the trophies that are... Um, Competed for at this show are pretty spectacular. And um, if you go into the Highland Hall, um, at the back of the judging rings there, and upstairs there is a display 
of the trophies, and it is well worth a visit. This is first by this is two four eight two. This is Haile Sebastian. And the heifer paired with him. Paired with him is two four two one. This is highly luscious sapphire. So it's the first pair. Two four two one and two four eight two. Next pair, this is two, four, eight, three. This is Headland Sultan. The heifer does not have a number on, however, I'm assuming it could be two, four, two, five. This is Headland Rosetta Scarlet. <laughs> so here we have another pair. This is two four two nine. This is Charles Bay Highland Rosie. And two four nine zero. This is Charles Berry Snowden. One three. This heifer is Burley Sage, and we've got two four seven seven. This is Burley Saltire.
our yeah. next pair. This is two, four, six, two. This is Glenida Fox Love Flip. Paired with her, we have two, four, nine, five. This is Glenida Rioja. This next class we have two four sorry this next pair we have two four three three. This is Glenjoy Gorgeous Rose. And we have two four eight six. The bull, this is Glenjoy Sunny. Our judge is making a decision on her first groups class. These are our concluding classes at the Highland Show. And there's nothing we can't say other than how spectacular the quality of these animals have been, the colour and the stamp that they are. It's been very tough competition about every class, even the slightly smaller classes. It was still tough competition. And then we've got these pairs classes just to finish today off. Here we have standing currently in first prize. This is lots 2413 and 2477. Just one prize in this class. So the winner of the Eduardo Bullrich Perpetual Silver Challenge Cup for the best pair, consisting one male, one female. Ah, DNM Wiley. Our next class is a group of three. Yeah. So now it is the best group consisting of one bull and two females for the BM Derno Perpetual Silver Challenge Cup. <laughs> Thank you. 